afternoon or good evening, depending on where you live or if you're watching the replay. Hi. Welcome back to another live stream. Sponsored by Element. You guys need to be thanking Element. They're the only reason I'm currently doing live streams because otherwise I don't have the motivation to. They motivate me. So huge shout out to them. Uh, throughout this entire live stream, this little QR code is going to be up here in the corner. You can scan that and I'll, it will take you directly to the free sample pack with any purchase web site. This is the sample pack. It comes with the raw and flavored, which is the one I've been using. You guys know that. Hi, tell me where you're watching from. Serena, what's up? What's up? Whoo, y'all, it has been a day. It has been a day. I'm going to tell you about that in just a minute. I'm, I'm very, <clears throat> I'm trying to be stoic about it. I'm trying to give to God. I'm having a hard time with that today. This is Keterade, by the way, which I'm renaming the NSB Tonic. All right? Because I can. And it's just the raw unflavored electrolytes. I use a full pack. And then I put sparkling water. And then I put apple cider vinegar. You can put as much or as little apple cider vinegar as you want. It doesn't matter. You can leave it out if you want to. I, it just gives it a nice flavor for me. And I love kombucha and I don't drink that anymore. And this is like my Nisha Bucha. Somebody called it Nisha Bucha. I was, I was like, I like that Nisha Bucha. So NSB tonic slash Nisha Bucha. Um, the raw unflavored does come in the free sample pack that you can get. If you go to the link on the screen, drink element.com slash Nisha. Again, thanks element for sponsoring my live streams. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. Where we got people? Atlanta. Whoops, Serena. Also drinking Keterade. All right, all right, all right. El Paso, Texas. McKenzie, Tennessee. Hey, neighbor. Nisha Bucha trademark. <laughs> Nisha Bucha trademark. Yes, I love it. <laughs> you can add some stevia to the electrolyte mix too, and that gives it a little more kombucha because most kombucha has a little sweetness to it. I use the sweet leaf drops. I get them on Amazon. Um, they've got all different flavors, by the way. What's coming up? What season is almost upon us? PSL, pumpkin spice latte season. And the sweet leaf drops, I make a pumpkin spice latte and I use that during this pumpkin spice season. <clears throat> I get them on Amazon. They're amazing. Where we got people from San Francisco. 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 That's a fun name to say. Name that, name that movie. Oh my gosh, you guys, Ontario, Canada. I love when I see my Canada people. Y'all are so nice. Louisiana, Baton Rouge, Iowa, Texas, South Carolina, Halloween. That's right, fall. Yes. So, Alan, the ingredients very simple unflavored raw electrolytes. These are the element ones. You can get those by scanning this code over here, or you can go to the link also, drinkelement.com slash nation, and they'll give you a free sample pack. So if you're not sure if you can do the unflavored, you can order watermelon or orange. Those are my favorite flavored ones, and get the sample pack, and it comes with a raw unflavored so you can try it. But honestly, when you make it like this, it's so good. <coughs> All right. We're going to have story time first, and then I'm going to take some questions while I sip on my Nisha Bucha. It's really, it's really good. I hope you guys like it. I know a lot of you have already tried it. It's really good. All right, so Toto. Hi to Toto. This morning, I was so excited. I got a delivery from Amazon, my new desk, and my under-the-desk treadmill. Day was going great because they were supposed to come tomorrow. They showed up early. So excited. I was going to vlog. It was going to be a good day. I got to looking at the box, my desk box, and I was like, that looks broken. I feel like something in here is maybe broken. No, no. We're not going to think that way. Think positive. Open the box. 
it is indeed broken. And I don't mean like it's a little scratched up or it's got something missing. No. The entire desk looks like someone like slammed it over their knee, split completely in half. So it's going back to Amazon. That's how it, that's how my day started, but that's not how it's going to end. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be fine. Ugh. Anywho, <clears throat> that's how my morning started. Uh, three doodles. Mom just ordered my first element and put the free Nisha pack. Can't wait to try them. They're really good. Everybody who tries them really loves them. Teresa loves them. Warrior says citrus is the best. Oh, ooh, ooh. Lisa says, I want your sofrito recipe, please. Okay, so, oh, Reeves, that's funny. You can find the sofrito recipe, well, <clears throat> basically it's the same as mine. It's Melissa's recipe, and you can find that on her website. I think I have it, yeah. Okay, it's cookingketowithfaith.com, and just type in cookingketowithfaith.com sofrito into Google. It should pull it up. And that's basically how I make my sofrito. Um, sometimes I add more garlic because I'm a garlic aficionado over here. <clears throat> Deb likes the grapefruit. I've never returned anything to Amazon. I'm going to be honest. So this is a new thing for me. I'm, but really, I'm so, I'm so annoyed. I was so excited. Had my drill ready. Had my screwdriver ready. I was ready. Jamie, the chicken fingers with ground chicken in them. Has anyone tried them with ground turkey? I don't think I can find ground chicken around here. And I don't love ground turkey. You could probably try ground turkey. Um, I mean, Walmart is where I get the ground chicken from. Uh, I don't know. Aldi may carry ground chicken. But that's I, I get mine from Walmart. So... Keto Mama, I made your meatballs. Oh my God, they're so good. Yay, I'm so glad you like them. They are good. Now they're even better made in the way that I originally make them, which I don't even think I have a video of how I make them the right way. But I saute onions and then I put bone broth in the onions and then I, put, I bake the meatballs and then I set the meat, meatballs into the onions and bone broth and let them kind of simmer in there. And so it's like a meatball French onion soup recipe. I got it from, oh, what is her name? Keto Mama? No, that's not right. Oh, she's on Facebook. I'm friends with her, but I can't think of her Facebook name. I'm not going to, I'm going to have a brain fart. Sugar-free mom. That's it. I was close. Sugar-free mom. It's one of her recipes in her cookbook. I think she calls it French onion soup meatballs, actually. And that is so good. It's so good. How's the new house? Not many video updates. There's, you know, progress on a house. On the outside, in the first stages, there's just, it kind of looks the same. It's moving along. They're putting the roof on or the decking. That's what it's called. They're putting the decking on uh, this week. And then I guess after that, it's going to go faster. So that's how it's going. It's going good. David, is Bonnie Blue walking yet? Oh, yeah. She's been walking since she was 10 months old. She's running now. Running. Trying to jump. Dancing. She. I've got to get a video of her and Beckett dancing. They Beckett dances like Mick Jagger. And Bonnie <laughs> stomps her foot a lot. It's really cute. Uh, no, Dr. Brady does not see any new patients. Miriam, can I put a splash of Premier Protein Shake in my morning coffee? I'm carnivore for six weeks, dairy and veg free. Um, I don't. Premier Pro, that's Equip, isn't it? I mean, that's one of the best ones on the market if you're going to use one for your creamer and your coffee. That's probably the best option because it's beef isolate and it's got good ingredients in it. Um, just use a little. That's not carnivore. But if it's getting you through 
dairy free, then that's one of the best options out there. So, okay. I thought Premier and Equip were the same. Equip is the best. That's what I used when I was going dairy free. Okay. So Equip. Thank you, Serena. I was thinking they, they were, maybe it says Premier on the Equip. Anyways, I use Equip. <laughs> when I use that for my creamer, I actually have a coffee recipe that I'm going to use equip protein for. <clears throat> equip prime. Okay. I knew there was another word in there. Thank you, Courtney. Teresa, would you recommend putting collagen powder in your morning coffee? Mm, for what? What are you using it for? Uh, if you're eating good fatty cuts of meat, you're getting good collagen from your meat. If you're making your own bone broth, you're getting the best collagen out there. Um, so if you want to spend the money on collagen powder, make sure you get a good quality one. But I don't, I don't use any collagen powder currently. Maybe that changes. I don't know. Oh, gosh. Yes, I do have an equipped discount code. I'll have to find it, though. I'm not sure. I can't remember what it is. Mm, 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 mm. Don't forget, you can scan this code anytime. It'll take you directly to the Element website, so you get the free sample pack with purchase. Also, if you want the most bang for your buck, the buy three, get one free, really does save you a lot of money. So if you know you already love Element, you're getting a whole box for free. I don't know if you guys know that that is an option. It is. And then you can get three flavors and one raw unflavored. And then you have all the things. <clears throat> Do -do -do -do. Let me find a good question. Edith, how come beef protein isolate isn't carnivore? I use true nutrition. It's just beef protein because most people are not using just the beef protein that it's got chocolate in it and stevia <laughs> and that's not carnivore. And listen, I'm a realistic person here. Common sense carnivore. You know, I say that, but I'm still words mean things. My problem is when people are like, cheese isn't carnivore. That makes my eye twitch, you know, the simple things, you know, a processed protein powder is a processed food, which is not something that we tell people to use unless they're using it as a tool specifically for a reason and they can't eat real protein. Uh, so like by definition, a powdered substance that does not look anything like meat should not be labeled carnivore with chocolate and stevia in it. That's just my opinion. You know, do what you want. <clears throat> uh, I'm so over this. That's not carnivore when someone says that. Well, some things just aren't. A pickle is not carnivore, okay? And you can't slice it or dice it another way. If you were trying to teach someone how to do it the right way and you're like, eat meat with pickles, Right. OK. It, that's why I don't use the word carnivore, because I do think that that word means something. But if you're going to come on my channel and tell me that a freaking piece of cheese is not carnivore, then go off. I don't care. <laughs> but, yeah, some things just cannot be put in the carnivore category if you are not doing it. You know, like there's a difference between lifestyle carnivore and I'm doing a carnivore challenge. I'm doing a carnivore reset. I've been doing this for 12 years and sometimes I have a pickle, you know, there's difference. But <clears throat> if you were trying to do it and do it right and get the results of these people who do carnivore for 90 days and they are literally just eating meat and a little dairy. You know, listen, I don't care. Do what you want. Call what you want. Doesn't bother me. But education-wise, there needs to be some guidelines or people get real confused. But animal 
It comes from enamel. Cheese is freaking carnivore, and I don't care what anybody says about it. It is. So is seafood. So is chicken. Like telling people you can't eat chicken if you're a carnivore. That's what bothers me. All right. But a pickle and those kind of things, like, okay, my onions are not carnivore. They're not. You know why? Because they're an onion. <laughs> my hair is natural. Right. I agree. Sometimes you got to have a pickle and that's okay too. <laughs> Bird lover. I know it's off topic, but I love your jacket. Please tell me where you're to buy one. Wanted to buy one for my sister's birthday. This is the coolest, cutest. So let me just stand up here so you can get the full effect. Isn't this so cute? It's got a hoodie and these are like, it's sweatshirt material down here. It is from Vici, Vici collection. And you can find the link if you go to my like to know it profile. You can scan here and that will take you directly to my like to know it page. And I've got the pans that I use, uh, outfits that I wear, glasses, like a lot of household and like things that I wear, jewelry, shoes, all the things they are linked over there or on my Amazon page. But this specific jacket is linked here. And it's um, shop like to know it dot com slash explore slash Nisha. <laughs> and it oh, there's a 20% off discount code currently. It's August 20, I think is what it is. It's on the website at the very top. It'll tell you what the discount code is. So it's actually 20% off this jacket. I think it is on pre-order right now, though. I don't know how I got it already, but I love it. I love it so much. All right, let's see here. Let me find another question. <laughs> hey, Andrew, it's going. It looks like a young teen jacket. Well, let me, I'm here to tell you that at 37, I'm way past giving a crap. I wear what I want. I wear what feels good to me. I wear what makes me happy. I wear what's comfortable. And I think it's freaking cute. So, Anita, thank you for the teen compliment. I think I look just like a teen, too. Thank you, Crystal. <laughs> what's the great controversy about your hair? All right. So, <clears throat> my hair does this weird thing where in certain lights, it looks like that I have colored it even if I haven't, like you can see all the gray, but it almost looks like the light is just shining on it. Sometimes it's weird. Anyways, I get people asking me questions all the time. Oh, I'm so glad, or I'm so glad you dyed your hair. You look so much younger now. It's like my hair is exactly the same color. It's exactly the same color. Um, so I, I, there's no controversy. It's just people get really funny about it. Like, you look old, this is aging you, or haha, you did color your hair. Like, it's just so funny. Anyways, that's just the way my hair looks. It looks different in different light. Like, it's so salt and peppery at this point. And I have not colored my hair since Beckett was four, four months old, I think, and he'll be four in October. So it's been a really long time that I've been letting my hair go natural. It's been a real process. Um, it was annoying at times, but I knew at the end I would be happy that I had done it. And at this point, literally all my gray has grown out. It's all the way to the ends because I cut off like six inches a month ago. And I am so glad that I stuck with it. It is so much easier on me to not have to worry about are my roots showing? I have to delegate time to go sit in a chair and do nothing else but sit there. Uh, money. I, I can put that money towards things I actually want more than not gray hair. This doesn't bother me. I quite enjoy it. Actually, I get compliments all the time. A lot of you are very kind about it. I already cut my hair. It was down to my waist, <clears throat> but I'm not cutting it again. But I really wanted that to be over. I just wanted it fully grown out. 
<clears throat> I'm going to get my bangs cut again, probably. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, girl. Okay, any tips on feeding twin seven-month-old meat-based baby love weaning? I feel like I did everything weeks, I think, maybe wrong for my five-year-old. Um, get the book, Baby Led Weaning. Ignore the weird nutrition advice. <laughs> but go specifically by how they tell you to cut the food up for the kids so it's safe, right? But also make you feel confident and comfortable using baby led weaning and not purifying your kid's food. There's so many benefits to baby led weaning. The main one is they understand food. They understand they need to chew. They build this muscle, this joint, this bone is mortified in children who didn't have their food emulsified the first year of their life. Um, we started out with scrambled eggs. Then we moved on to sausage, bacon, avocado, berries, we basically followed the baby led weaning book, uh, but the keto version. <laughs> Lexi, are you watching me while you, you just had a baby? I'm so honored. Congratulations. Oh, I love it. <clears throat> All right. Nancy, what can I use instead of eggs for coating and binding food that is keto and will keep a long time? For like meatballs, you mean? I mean, if you use a really nice fatty ground beef, you don't have to use an egg for it to stick together. Um, it helps, but you don't have to. And then you can add the pork panko or the chicken flour from Carnivore Crisps uh, as another binder. Um that's what I do. I don't always put egg. And I don't, for the ground chicken, it sticks together really well. So you don't need an egg in there. But if you want to boost the protein, you know, then you can add an egg. But yeah, you could probably leave them out and it would be okay. <clears throat> Karen, I quit dyeing my hair years ago. Tired of the skunk stripe when it was ready for a color. It's very healthy now. Mud's much healthier too. Someone got mad at me for, <laughs> for saying that the skunk stripe was not a youthful look that I wasn't interested in having a, that, that I didn't think it, that was better than just letting it go. Someone got really triggered about that. She said I was downing women who color their hair. I'm like, if you want to go through that process, that's fine but feel empowered to not have to do that. You don't have to. You can take that money and go buy some steak if you want to, or go buy some new shoes and relax on your couch and watch some Netflix with those extra few hours you get. <clears throat> Bev, thanks for the super chat. I have noticed that upon waking, there are zero ketones in my urine for the first hour or two after waking when I haven't eaten in three days. No, nothing. I'm fasting right now. Why is that? Don't use the urine strips. Get you a blood ketone meter. Um, BioCoach makes a good one. Keto Mojo makes a good one. Those are the two top ones that I have used and are great. So I would say you probably are producing ketones. <laughs> You're just producing in a way that's in your blood and not spilling out into your urine. It's not a bad thing. So go get you a blood ketone meter and check it that way. And I guarantee you, you've got ketones in your blood. <clears throat> and a more... I have Hashimoto's and I'm always in pain. What three things would you recommend? All right. So when I was at the height of my sickness, when I had Hashimoto's like that was inflamed and full blown, it's in remission now. I was in a lot of pain, like constant pain. My whole body hurt. My fingers hurt. My heels hurt. My legs hurt. Everything hurt. When I just started transitioning from keto to meat-based. I did true carnivore for a while too. That helped a lot. 
I also started supplement supplementing iodine. I take 2% Lugol's iodine, two little bitty drops in my coffee every day. And that helps too. And I forgot my Lugol's when we were in Florida the other day. <clears throat> and I had some pain creeping back in, not as severe as it was, but I can, I can always tell a difference when I don't take my iodine. It makes a world of difference for me. Um, also, I tried to push myself a lot with activity and that always backfired. And I didn't think about things like sleep and stress. And those can hinder your uh, autoimmune diseases just as much as food. So consider ingredients, consider doing a 30-day carnivore challenge of true just meat, salt, eggs. And if you, you need to cut the dairy out for 30 days to, to give your body a break. I've done that. I've cut dairy out and, and see how it goes. But that's, that's my advice. <clears throat> oh, Sheila, Shala. Shala, that's a very pretty name. What's a good mystery th thriller book you would recommend? All right, Shala, if you haven't read Verity, that's the one. Now it is disturbing. Disturbing, but it's really, 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 really good. Um, what's another mystery thriller? All Good People Here. That's another good one. Let me open my Audible. I'm going to tell you about the books. I'll tell you what I'm reading currently, too. I'm reading The Covenant of Water right now. It's really, really good. It's super long, too. It's like, I don't even know, 30 hours or something. That's what I'm currently reading. And let's see. The Golden Couple was good. That's kind of like a mystery th thriller. It's pretty good. Um, let's see. What's another one? Anything by Harlan Coben. I've read every single book that that man has written. I'm not kidding. Every single book. Harlan Coben. My favorite one is called Win, W-I-N. It's the name of one, the main character in that specific book. He's in a lot of his books too. He's my favorite character. That one was really good, but all of his are very like mystery, thriller, that type of thing. I do need to make a list, Sarah. You're right. I need to make a list. Um. <clears throat> All Good People Here. That is the name of that one. Let's see. Uh, if you haven't read the one by Dolly Parton and James Patterson, Run, Rose, Run, it's not really a mystery thriller, but if you like Dolly Parton, it's about Nashville, which is what's kind of annoying, honestly, but it's okay. Those are, I'm going to make a list for you guys. <clears throat> hey moon thank you for the super chat oh you got me your labs all right um both hashimoto's tests said one or under is that a positive or negative oh what are your symptoms like moon because mine said in the beginning, when I started having symptoms, all my labs were normal, but I was still showing all the symptoms of an autoimmune disorder. So I would make sure that you're talking to your provider about your symptoms, not just what your labs say. And um, currently, it look, the, these, the antibodies are under one. That's not a positive, but that doesn't mean that it won't become a positive in the future. Also, FYI, labs are not my jam, but oh, 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 very important. <clears throat> Common Sense Labs book is now available on Amazon. You can scan the QR code here. It is a top seller already, so some of you guys already found it. The Audible, I mean, not the Audible, sorry, the Kindle version, I think it's coming next week. Um, so keep a lookout if you're a Kindle person. But you can buy the paperback now on Amazon. I'm not sure what the price is. I'll have to look it up. But yes, super awesome. You can thank Kim Howerton for that. Top new release. Look at that. Top new release. Woo! 
It's twenty four ninety five, or oh, it doesn't have the Kindle version uploaded yet. But I'm I'm assuming the Kindle will be lower than that. But I I don't know. I don't have anything to do with this. I'm just a cheerleader over here. But just so you guys know, <coughs> excuse me. Who's having keto right with me today? Who is doing unflavored electrolytes? That's what I want to know. Who's doing that? Who switched over? These are the, they look, Beckett always thinks these are blueberry because they're blue. And I'm like, dude, they're really not. You're not going to like them. These are the unflavored ones. You can get the free sample pack. You can scan the code up here and get a free sample pack with any purchase at Drink Element dot com slash nisha best bang for your buck buy three get one free if you already love them if you don't then obviously like don't commit to four boxes but maybe you do <clears throat> i really am an unflavored girl right now some of you are too we got pierre switched unflavored diana also Oh, she does flavored. Somebody else did unflavored. Edith. Unflavored in my coffee. They need to make blueberry flavored. I don't know, right? The raspberry is good. I saw a super chat. Riley. Hi, Riley. Thanks for the super chat. Um, I want to raise my kids with on ketovore. Will it lead to intolerance later in life? Also, can you do a video on fasting and keto while pregnant breastfeeding? I'm just <clears throat> hit the fasting one real quick. Don't fast when you're pregnant or breastfeeding. That doesn't mean you need to force yourself to eat, though. I'm assuming this is for your wife. Um, if she's not hungry, fine. But eating, especially in the first trimester, can help with the nausea. Even if she doesn't want to eat, it can help because it's also often low blood sugar because your body is going through this chaos, right? Uh, supplementing B6 also. She can talk to her OB about that. That can help, too. But eat when she's hungry. She doesn't need to force herself to eat, but she shouldn't do like alternate day fasting, OMAD, those type of things where she's forcing her body to push through hunger. Don't do that when pregnant. Don't do that when breastfeeding. Uh, as far as kids on ketovore, make sure that they're getting exposed to things like peanuts and eggs, which are obviously keto, but peanuts are not. And a lot of people maybe don't introduce their kids to that, but to make sure that they don't have an allergy, they need to be exposed like at six months is when we exposed Bonnie to peanuts. Um, we did a really pure peanut butter that had no sugar. It would taste like crap to anybody else, but she liked it. And that's so she gets exposed to those things and she doesn't develop an allergy. Um, <clears throat> as far as intolerances, I guess it depends on the food. All kids are intolerant to cow dairy up until like a year. They kind of can't digest it really well, but for our kids, we just stick to real whole foods, meat, animal fats, and then we use a few keto products here and there when it's helpful for us in the moment. <clears throat> Joy, thank you. Is it okay to take ancestral supplements if you can't force yourself to eat or you may? Sure. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just expensive. And um, I was telling, I can't remember, maybe I was talking in the group about this, that you can you know, buy liver for very cheap at the grocery, cut it up into little chunks, stick it in the freezer and just swallow those. And it's like swallowing a pill. It's a lot cheaper that way. Um, you can also make your own pills. You can buy the cellulose tablets on Amazon. By the way, if you're not in the community, we're currently doing a common sense carnivore challenge in there meaning you get to pick what level of carnivore you want to stick to for the 30 days. We'll ha we're halfway into it, but you're more than welcome to join anyways and go ahead and get started. Uh, we'll probably do another round in September. But it's a good time. We hang out in there. All If you're already in the community, you already have access to the challenge. So this is the code to go hang out with us in the PhD community. I know a lot of you are already in there. <sighs> How many packets are in a box? I don't remember. I'm sure it says on the website. 
Teresa, this is a very good question. I've been wondering this all my life. Why do supermarkets only sell six packs of duck eggs? Right? I want 12. Why do I need two cartons? It's annoying. I don't know, though. <clears throat> 30. There are 30. Okay, there you go. Thank you so much for that, Teresa and Marie. Who has eaten today? Who has not? I have not eaten, and I'm getting hungry because it's 1.30. <clears throat> Sorry, my computer is weird. Uh, yes. Lloyd, frozen liver pills are great. I mean, that's just a way to save money. But if you want to buy the ancestral supplements, obviously, I'm sure they're fine. When is Ken's book coming out? Good question. Don't know. Jessalyn. Hi, Jessalyn. Thanks for the super chat. 11 weeks postpartum, mostly breastfeeding, but had to supplement a bit. Going back to work in two weeks, terrified my supply will drop. Any recommendations? Yes. Pump, 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 pump. If you don't know what power pumping is, go Google that. Uh, power pump. For not for a long time, just like a day. And then <clears throat> to build your supply or your stash. If you, I know this sounds awful, but it's the best way to do it. Set your alarm for any time between 1 and 4 a.m. So if baby wakes up at 1 a.m. and nurses, then get back up at 3 a.m. and pump. The reason why I tell you this time, because all those hormones are very, very high at this point in the night. You produce a little bit more. You're more receptible to, like, you're just going to get a little bit more out of it. Your body's going to respond a little bit better. You're going to get more bang for your pump buck. Um, and snuggle with that baby all you can, as much as you can, anytime you're with baby. Skin to skin, as much as possible, that boosts the hormone that produces milk. Breast milk is a supply and demand. The more you take out, the more your body thinks baby needs, the more it makes milk. Now, that doesn't mean you should power pump every day for a week, because then you're going to become maybe engorged and, you know, there's a fine line. You, you can't pump too much or it can backfire. So just keep that in mind. But that, there's something on my nose. <laughs> That's what I did um, to build my stash. I don't really need a stash anymore because Bonnie is now. What is this? I think it's cat hair. <laughs> uh, Bonnie's on goat milk unless she's with me and then I just breastfeed her, so. <clears throat> Excuse me. So sorry. Do, 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 do. Um, where did that question go? I just saw it. He... Where did that question go? <laughs> Sandy. Yeah. So the key, the electrolyte drink, that's just what this is. It's Keterine, but easier because all the electrolytes are already in. The packet, it's already pre-made out for you, so you don't have to measure anything, which I really love. So that's, I put one packet of Element, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and then sparkling water. And that's what I'm using currently for my electrolyte drink. I have about two of these a day. If you scan this little QR code over here, it will take you directly to the Element website, and you get the free sample pack with any purchase and that comes with the raw unflavored in there if you want to try it and get a flavored one. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what's happening right now. The weather is so weird also. When is, when is fall getting here? I'm so over summer. <sighs> if you haven't already, send a message to Element and tell them to 
thank you for sponsoring Nisha's live streams because they're literally the main reason I get on here. It's incentive. <laughs> I need to do better. But for the time being, this is where we're at. So thank you so much to Element for sponsoring my live streams. I love you. I mean it. Girl. Olympic follower. I'm 13 weeks postpartum breastfeeding my identical twin boys. Somebody go give her a gold star, a medal, a trophy, a new car, a new house, like whatever. You're, I hope your husband is loving on you or your partner is giving you all the attention because that's got to be, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I could do that. Wow. Twins. No, thank you. <laughs> Uh, how much sparkling water do you add? I need, I find I need more water with the unflavored. I it just to the top with a little ice. I don't know. 20 ounces ish, 16 ounces. I don't know. I'm horrible with measurements. I just fill the glass up <laughs> and that's it. Um, but if you need more water in yours, then that's totally fine. It's no problem. What do you do for your skincare routine? I do... On a good night, <laughs> I wash my face. I use the Elemis, like it takes your makeup off. And then I put on, what do I even use? Elemis moisturizing cream. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> I eat meat. No, it's good genetics too, okay? I got good genetics. I can't take all the, meat cannot take all the credit. Let's be real. <clears throat> I don't have any eggs for sale currently, mostly because I don't know where the chickens are laying them. They're little jerks. <gasps> Element needs a pumpkin spice flavor for fall, don't they? Come on, get on board, Element. You got the chocolate. You got the mint chocolate for Christmas time. Yeah. At, oh, yeah. If you don't know, they have a chocolate salt. It's very good in your coffee. And then at Christmas time, they do a chocolate mint. And I think last year they did a caramel salt. Also, caramel. Do you say caramel or caramel or caramel? Caramel. Caramel flavor. Anyways. <laughs> yes, please. Pumpkin spice, please. Give it to me. Give it. Oh, yeah. Also, I have a, uh, a cream that's made from pig fat. It's called Faro. The brand is called Faro. I don't think I have their link on here. Do I? No, I don't. Um, and it's, it's pig fat and essential oils, and that's it. And it's a really good moisturizer. Really, 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 really good. <clears throat> Also, if y'all are ever looking for things, links to things, I try to have my Amazon shop updated. It's not always updated. And there's probably some stuff on there that I don't even use anymore. I need to, I need to clean it up. But I do have a lot of like my glasses that I make my iced coffee in are linked over there and those type of things. It's amazon.com slash shop slash Nisha love that. <laughs> Is Dr. Barry in the room? What did he say? What did he say? He's so funny. <gasps> ha, 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 ha. Came over here to steal the attention. Funny guy, funny guy. Whew, I was freezing. Now I'm not. That's how it goes. I, there's just something tickling my nose. <laughs> Woo! Um, <clears throat> does heavy cream break a fast? Depends on who you ask. Depends on how much you're using. Depends on what your goals are. A true fast is just water and electrolytes, no sweetener, no calories. 
that's a water fast, right? Then if you want to do like a fat fast, then some people allow for heavy cream and butter and MCT oil and things in their coffee. So that's a fat fast. And if you want to do a dirty fast, then maybe you have coffee with stevia in it and or flavored electrolytes. That's fast. No, I mean, there's fast where you get to eat eggs all day for like seven days. You know, there's, it depends. Is it working for you? Huzzah. Are you stalled out and you think maybe it's a thing with the heavy cream? Cut it out. <clears throat> uh, what does it say? What about lemon juice for flavor? A few drops of lemon in your water, that's not going to probably affect you. If you're making lemonade, uh, you know, then maybe. <clears throat> I cannot see your earlier question, so I cannot answer your earlier question. <laughs> Sorry. Who came up with Huzzah? You're looking at her. I watch, I've been to a lot of Renaissance festivals in my life, okay? Since I was 13 years old. Uh. Yes, and these, so the flavor drops that I order off Amazon, they are linked on my Amazon page, which is, hang on, I'll find it again this website right here if you go there they're linked there their sweet leaf is the brand and they have all kinds of flavors they have chocolate they have vanilla pumpkin spice caramel caramel um they have a lot of different flavors and peppermint they have a peppermint one too they're really good i like them someone asked about natural flavoring like that's, i don't care it's the least of my words <laughs> if you're trying to be super super clean and you want to cut them out Huzzah. But it's not me. I ain't doing it. I'm having pumpkin spice. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, Teresa, they should be on my shopping page for sure. Do, 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 do. I saw a super chat. Who did it? Ron's Keto Cafe. What's up, Ron? I love when people give me a sticker because on Restream, it just tells what the sticker is. So it's a pear character with lovey-dovey eyes blowing red hearts in the air. <laughs> Thank you for the super sticker, Ron. appreciate that. Huzzah was also big on the show, The Great. Yes. However, that show came way after I started saying huzzah. Not that I invented a huzzah, but I'm just saying, like, I did it first. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I, date, I take the Lugol's iodine, which is also on my Amazon shop page. It's Lugol's 2% iodine. I put it in my coffee. Lisa, any update on the arson court case? Not really. We're waiting to hear back from what happens next. Maybe we go to trial. That'd be fun. I never watched Gilmore Girls. I think I've seen three episodes. It's not that I didn't like it. I just, when Gilmore, Gil, Gilmore Girls was on, like I didn't have access to those type of channels. We didn't have a satellite. We didn't have cable. We didn't have any of that stuff. So I didn't get to watch that kind of shows. <clears throat> M. Leb K. Uh, recommendations for hair care. I love your hair. Uh, I can tell you what I use. I use all the Olaplex things, which I've been using that for four years now. It's never done me wrong. I use the number three, the number four, the number five, the number six, the number seven. And probably a few other numbers too, but like the number three, four, and five, that's the pre-treatment pre conditioner and shampoo. Those are the main ones. I really love them all. Doo 
do, do, do. Mm-hmm. Uh, be dog. Thinking of ordering the Daily Minerals, do you take them? I do. I love them. I don't love the way they taste. Okay, but I love, they help. Plus they have iodine in them too. <clears throat> um, the iodine is on my Amazon shop page. Let me find that again. Just if you guys thought you can, if you have Amazon account, like most, I think most of you do. If you click the follow button, I don't know what's happening here. We're, we're, whatever. Um, <clears throat> it should show you like my stuff. I don't know how that works, honestly, but it's linked in my keto supplements. I think is where it's at. We're in that bangs growing out phase and it's, it's, it's a little awkward. I'm not going to lie. Do you or Dr. Barry do private consults? We do not do one-on-one coaching, but we do have the private community where we have a lot of mentors and coaches that can help you that have been following Dr. Barry this whole time. So if you ask them a question they can help you know what 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 do you not get in this group you do not get medical advice you do not get a doctor patient relationship um, you do not get a guarantee that we can fix your problems right you get a good supportive community you get access to extra things depending on what level you pick you get access to the mentors and coaches you get access to challenges um discount codes that are special for the private community, those type of things. So if you want to join the community, this is the QR code. It's all, You can go to the website. It's drbrady.com slash community, and that will take you there. <clears throat> uh, Rihanna, I wish Keto Chow would come back with the cute dropper bottle. I know. We have told them. I think think it, it may be coming back. I don't know when. I don't know, but I've heard whispers. Yeah. Um, blah, blah, blah. Well, curious what type of sweetener you use in your coffee. How often I use the sweet leaf drops. They're just pure stevia um, with some flavor. That's it. That's the only sweetener that I ever use in my coffee at this point. Like I've been using the same thing for three years, probably. Uh, curly cues, your thyroid's not the only thing in your body who needs iodine. Um, Dr. Barry has a few videos about iodine where he talks about there's lots of parts of the body, lots of cells, lots of areas that like iodine. Amber, how do I use your element shrimp recipe? <laughs> okay, so you're going to take your shrimp and then you're going to fry it up in some butter. And then you're going to take it out and you're just going to sprinkle. This is the lemon habanero. I like the mango one better, but I don't know where it went. I must have taken it out of the packet. I must have used it on something at some point. Oh, no, here it is. Mango chili. That's the one. Mango chili. So the mango chili is the one that I like to use on my shrimp. You know what else this is good on? I showed this, I don't know, last year sometime. Put it in my guacamole, the mango chili one. It's really, really good. Um, you put it in your guacamole, you can just sprinkle it over avocado if you're eating avocado. If you're not, then don't worry about it. Um, but, yeah, this is my favorite of the weird flavors. The mango chili is my favorite. Um, it does come in the sample pack also. So if you scan the code or you go to the website and you buy anything on the element, if you make any purchase, they'll send you the sample pack and it's got eight different flavors and the mango chili is in there. The chocolate salt is in there. The raw unflavored is in there. The lemon habanero, habanero. That's in there too. So if you want to try all the weird flavors, they're in there. And then the regular ones are in there too, like the watermelon and the orange and the citrus. Those are all in the sample pack that you get for free when you use my link or you scan the code. That'll take you to the website as well. Or you can screenshot 
this right now and it will, you know, then you can go to the link later, or save it in your phone. You can go as many times as you want. You can use that link as many times as you want. So thanks again to Element for being sponsor of today's live stream. Have you guys enjoyed it? Have you had a good time? <clears throat> Carrie says, Lemon Habanero is my favorite. Are you serious? Really? Wow. Uh, can you do a carnivore sausage ball recipe? Yeah, here you go. Take your ground pork. Add some cheese if you're allowing cheese. If you're not allowing cheese, leave the cheese out. Add an egg. Add seasonings. Bake on 350. But really, I will do a sausage ball. Melissa actually has a really good sausage ball recipe on her blog. Let me pull that up for you guys. Uh, Melissa's food blog is cookingketowithfaith.com. You can find it on the screen right now. Screenshot. Y'all always screenshot. If you see something and you, you're like, I'm going to forget it, screenshot it. Um, also, Melissa has a cookbook now. She has, she has two. And you can buy them in a bundle. I don't have that link. I don't know. Maybe if you Google Cooking Keto with Faith cookbook, that will pull it up. Let me look. Cooking. Excuse me. Also, the sparkling water makes me burp a lot. <laughs> Keto with Faith cookbook. Is this going to pull it up? Oh, it does. Sweet. So it's the... I know this is backwards. I'm sorry. Cooking Keto with Faith dot com. No, 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 no. That's not right. Boo. Cooking Keto with Faith. Oh, I'm going to have to. Okay. It's posted on her. If you follow her on Instagram or Facebook, the link is over there. Well, poop. I thought I was going to. Wait, here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. I'm going to find it. Okay. Cooking Keto with Faith Dog. It's my Shopify.com. <laughs> you can find her on Facebook. It's Cooking Keto with Faith. Go follow her on Facebook. And then if you want that cookbook, it's there. It's a good one. <clears throat> yeah. All of her recipes are really good. She's got a lot of the things you see me eat. That's Melissa. For sure. <laughs> Hilda, what are your thoughts on supplementing colostrum powders on a carnivore diet? Why? Anytime you ask me, what do you think about using blah, 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 you need to put the reason why you're, because that's going to be the question that I ask. Why? Why? For what? <clears throat> okay guys I'm going to put this on the screen one more time in case you missed it if you want to come hang out in the private community oops well I'll talk about this again too Common Sense Labs, the book that Ken and Kim wrote together about labs, optimum ranges, what they mean. It's a good, like, generalized breakdown of your labs, not your specific labs, obviously, but labs. So you can get, get a better idea about what your labs mean, how to talk to your doctor about them. Available on Amazon right now. You can go pick it up right this second, immediately. Just scan the code or you can just type common sense labs into Amazon and obviously that'll work too. Um, but what I was actually going to say is if you want to join the PhD community and come hang out with me, the other PhD coaches and mentors, and of course the king of keto, Dr. Barry, he's in there too. Uh, scan this code or go to drberry.com slash community and get access to behind the scenes, a lot of chaos, challenges, live streams, extra live streams, Q&As, interviews. Dr. Barry always does his interviews inside the group. So only members of the group get 
to ask questions during the live interviews. And then the, he put, puts the replay up on YouTube afterwards. So if you want to get access to that, there it is. And thanks again to Element for sponsoring this live stream. Again, you can go to element, drinkelement.com slash Nisha and get that free sample pack with any purchase. And it gets you the raw unflavored, the chocolate salt, the mango, chili, the lemon habanero, the watermelon, the orange. Go check them out and tell them I sent you. Whew. That's an hour, guys. All right. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. And maybe I'll see you in the group. If not, I'll see you back here on YouTube. Love you, mean it. <laughs>